Hello, welcome, and I'm going to be talking about how to create your Raspberry Pi using a Chromebook. So the first thing that I'm going to need is an SD card, which I already have handy. And the next thing is I need to make sure that I start downloading the software. And uh, it's going to give you the option for Ubuntu first because it thinks it's a Linux machine. But I'm going to go where it says all download options and I'm going to select the top image, the one that says with desktop and recommended software. The one that says with desktop does not include the recommended software. Um, it's going to be faster download from two gigabytes to one gigabyte. Or the light is just simply the Linux kernel and uh, command prompt. It's not really including the desktop. So I'm going to download this one and you're going to notice that it's going to take quite some time because it is 2.8 gigabytes. From here, I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store and look up the Chromebook recovery utility. Now, I need to make sure that it is by Google because this is the only one that is going to work on the Chromebook. I'm going to add this one. It's also going to add, it's supposed to be an extension but it's, uh, it's an app. So once I have selected this, notice that it's gonna ask me to create the media. Right now, it is still downloading, let me verify this, it is still downloading the image. Once everything is downloaded and finished installing, then I'm gonna open Chrome again and open the recovery utility. Here it is, Chromebook recovery utility. I'm gonna create this new window and it's gonna tell you you'll need at least eight gigabytes and so on and so forth. I'm gonna click get started. And it's gonna ask you what kind of Chromebook do you wanna make this from? It says select from a list. This is specifically to create a, a Chromebook image, but I don't want a Chromebook image. So what I wanna do instead is I'm gonna click on this gear icon on the top right and use a local image. I'm gonna look for the image itself and I'm gonna select, yes, here it is, uh, the flash drive. I just wanna verify that this is a correct flash drive. So I'm gonna open files, I'm gonna right click It doesn't give me information about this flash drive. Here it is. So the three dots in the top right, and it gives me information. 119.1 gigabytes available. So I want to verify 119.1 gigabytes available. Okay, so that is the correct media. I'm gonna click continue and create. So this is gonna take a while. Once it has finished installing the image to the SD card, don't forget to take out the SD card from your Chromebook and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. This was one of the problems that happened to me. The first time you boot, it will give you this message, which says that it will resize the image and reboot. After it reboots, it does take a while. Sometimes you're gonna get black screens without any information. Sometimes you're gonna get a tiny cursor and this is gonna be process that is gonna happen just the first time it reboots or the first time you run this. But as you can see here, eventually it starts working again and it's your new Raspberry Pi that was imaged in part thanks to your Chromebook. I'm Mr. G. Cheers.